Hello everyone, we're live at IDS 2021. Uh, we're gonna walk you through the Smile Creator experience here where we're gonna take the customer through the entire journey. Uh, we're gonna take a picture of them, then we're gonna scan them with the intro or scanner, design and then 3D print a clip on Smile. Yeah, the journey begins with a 2D picture. So we have made this station uh, our challenge today. Um, we combine 2D photography, 3D, 3D infrared scanning, smile design, and printing in one workflow. And we try to do that in one hour. Our patient here is already here. And we will then go over and do the pictures. So we can come and take the pictures. Let's come over here. Short explanation how to use the retractor. So in fact, we do two pictures now. One with a retractor and one with just a smile. It's also possible to just work with a smile picture, that would be enough, but of course it's much easier to do the registration of two pictures and a 3D, 2D registration when using a retractor. Now it's very important if you do both pictures uh, from the same view angle and that you try that the patient will not change the angulation of the head or turn the head, because then of course it would be quite hard to register both pictures later. So now try not to move the head anymore. Okay. Great. And so the pictures are done. And we can now start with the infrared scanning here. Our colleague, Dr. Gustavo Ismael from Brazil, will do the scanning. And in the meantime, we will hand over the camera to Marco Anucci. My colleague Marco will then import in the meantime the pictures to the PC. He will analyze the pictures and he will choose the best pictures uh, to be used in the smile design process. So now we are seating the patient into the dentist chair and I hand over my microphone to my colleague from Align and he will explain you the scanning process. Thank you so much. Well, welcome everybody. And as you can see, our patient is ready. We are working today with the Itero Element Plus in a 5D configuration. It's already set. So we are talking here about a fully integrated, seamless uh, system, which is perfectly aligned to work with ExtraCAD. But as it's open, of course, any other system as well. For the Itero, what we'll basically need for a scan, in this case, we're doing a reference, a mock-up scan, we will need a fresh sleeve, we're working with disposable sleeves, it's a quite a unique uh, system. We will need gloves and a mask. A chair is a benefit, of course, but there's no further preparation needed for any of the scan process. It's quite intuitive. You don't have uh, any special courses or education you need to start a scan. Of course, from iTero and Align Technology, we will provide you with a complete set of trainings that you require. But the scanning itself can be done by anybody who is in the clinical practice team. Is there we'll, a specific scan path that we need to follow? Correct, correct. We're, we're positioned ideally at 12 o'clock just behind the patient so we can look forward onto the screen. With the ITER it's important that we look at the screen. And normally we start on the occlusion. So we take the occlusal path first to have a reference point. We take a full arch scan here. The first round doesn't have to be too perfect. We can have a few holes, gaps, it doesn't matter. On the second pass, where we'll go right now, we will go onto the palatal side. If you start on the Leo arch, which you can perfectly do, you would do the lingual first. Here we have a little uh, twist from the hand that helps to get to the mesial areas. And with this, we can already go to the opposite quadrant. There we go. And we stay on the inside. And as you can see on the scanner itself, you see a few gaps here. Those are being filled immediately. The AI will help you to it. As said, if there's anything missing, you can always fix it up later. There's no pressure here with scanning. With a bit of routine, you can scan a full arch, uh, lower, upper, and bite scan in under a minute. If you want to do it a bit more calmly, of course, a minute and a half or two is also absolutely fine. Depends on the patient. And as said, uh, you don't have to worry about saliva, about drying. Of course, we don't use uh, any uh, scan powder or similar. You don't really need any of that. It's a fully optical system. 
including the near infrared technology. It's uh, also near infrared uh, to allow you for caries detection, especially for first visits. So it's an all-in-one device. No special procedure needed for that. It's all done in the same scan. So as you can see, we're reaching also to distals quite nicely. If there's a, if there's a missing tooth, a gap, uh, then we can easily, due to the shape of the lens and the size of the lens, we can uh, cover a very wide area which allows you to scan more and less passes. Now we're just finishing up here the upper arch with our buckle right. We scan from back to front. And as you can see, we are in contact with the tooth. And here we go. And that's pretty much all. We have a little gap here on the mesial of number, what have we here, number seven here. We can cover that quite easily. Last little twist to get the last little bits of the incisal edge here. If you notice on the device itself, on the scanner screen, you'll see that the soft tissue, lip, uh, tongue, if a finger lands in front of the lens, it will be removed automatically. It's uh, due to AI. <coughs> and this generation scanner, we included an AI chip that will help you to uh, fill in everything that's uh, missing to remove any excess area. Yeah, and as you can see, now we go to the lower arch, which we'll need as a reference scan for our contacts, of course, and to provide a bias scan. You can see there is a bit of saliva there, not an issue at all. You'll just scan over it, and the system will remove it for you. Of course, it's best practice to maybe use a bit of uh, compressed air in some cases, but in the very most cases, all you have to do is swallow before the scan, and off you go. About how long does it take to do a scan? As I said, the scan, with a bit of practice, you can do a full arch scan. We have uh, actually, we had up the, uh, the Align booth over here. We have a little challenge, and uh, the record sits at uh, 47 seconds right now for lower, upper, and bite. Wow. A few gaps in there, yes. <laughs> but no, realistically, you can do a full arch scan in about a minute, minute and a half, and that's a very good scan without any missing surfaces. And that's for a reference scan like this one. Again, here in the uh, lower arch, we're following the exactly same scan path, occlusal first, lingual back, and then we do buckle first one side. Now we're at the middle, little twist over the inside of the ledge. We go back to the last molar on the right, start occlusal, get our reference point, twist over to buckle, and we finish off with the fourth quadrant on the buckle side. Again, all soft tissue, lip, tongue, fingers uh, that land in front of the lens will be automatically removed by, uh, by AI. In case you do need a bit more of gingiva, or you have a yeah a large gingival area, you can easily disable this feature so you can get all the way down a couple of centimeters if needed, or cover larger gingival areas. So last step here, we're setting our patient up now to take a precise bite scan. The bite scan is really quick. For this, once in position, we will place our lens about the height of five and six, tooth five and six in the FDI system. So the second premolar, first molar, even if there's a gap, not a problem, and we move the lens up and down, and that's it. There you have one side. We will always take the second side if possible. Start the scan, go a little bit up and down towards the gingiva, and stop. There you have it. Now that's the full scan. Wow. And this scan we will now calculate and send over to the cloud, where it will be seamlessly integrated into Exacad with all patient details. And with that, I hand it back over to you. Yeah, just one quick question before you go. Of course. Um, I see there's two screens uh, on the Itero scanner. What does that mean? Yes, you have the on the lower left. You always have the viewfinder. This will able uh, this will enable you to find your way if, uh, to see what the lens is actually seeing. In the middle of the screen, this is actually where we look. We look in the middle of the screen where the 3D model is being built up. That is your reference, and that's uh, so fast that you can always uh, use that as a reference in case you miss a spot, in case you lose track of the arch. You can always get back a centimeter or so. So one is the viewfinder to orient yourself on the lower left, and in the middle of the screen is the 3D model, which you will be watching all the time while you do your scan. Yeah, so the scan is done. Um, actually, the scanner is still finishing the post-processing, I guess. Then we will send over the case, the data, to our software. So um, this is a fully integrated system. So that means the simplest scan. 
uh, on one system, on one PC, if you're in the same network, automatically the file will be sent to the, to the uh, design software. And there is a, we call it an automated import feature. Um, then Marco on his PC, he will get a message that there's a new incoming file. And he simply with the one click can open then this file on this PC. This might take a minute. And in fact, in real life, in your office or in your lab or whatever, in one house, you can have exactly the same configuration as I have. So in the dental office, you have the chair, you have the Itera scanner. You can even do that with other scanners. So we have a, a bunch of different intraoral scanners integrated in our system. You find a list of them on our website, of course. So the case arrived. That's, that's really cool and easy with a seamlessly integrated system. Um, there was a message at the bottom of the screen which tells the operator at the computer that there's a new incoming file. You just in a click on the button, load file, automatically the case will be loaded into, loaded into the dental DB. In fact, our software consists of two different applications. The first is the dental DB, that's what you see here on the screen. That's the software or the application you need to manage your clients. You can manage your hardware device, you can manage the uh, materials, parameters, etc. Yeah. And then we start now the CAD software. Automatically, the scan data will be imported into the CAD software. And what you see on the bottom left of the screen is our wizard. So our software is a wizard guided workflow. So it guides you through the entire workflow. Of course, you can also skip the wizard. So if, if, if after a few months you feel like you're becoming an expert, you can go to the expert mode and you can reach all the steps manually, even in a, in a different sequence, or you have even additional functions. So here we started now the smile design or the smile creator, which is actually an add-on module. And what you see on the screen here is we do now a matching between 3D and 2D. So on the left side you see the 3D intraoral scan. And Marco will now place just two points. And this, you see the software perfectly is matching already. The two pictures will be scaled automatically and placed onto the 3D scan. Of course, with the right mouse, you can still then rotate and change the view angle of the of the metal of the model to make it fit into this, or to have the same view angle as in the picture. Yeah. Now we load the now we load the, the smile image. So that's the first time we are using artificial intelligence in our software. So that means during the programming phase of the software, we have put data of hundreds of patients into the software to make the software learn how to do that. So actually, the software is using references here uh, on the pictures. Obviously, the, the, the T's are the best reference here uh, to put those pictures together. In the next step, um, the software will also detect the lip line automatically, and you can, of course, also correct that. Uh, just in a few seconds, you add some points and you have the lip line detected correctly. And in the third step, we are also using artificial intelligence. We are detecting the eyes automatically. This is needed to define the B popular line. And then automatically, the picture will be oriented uh, on this line so that the B popular line is horizontal on the screen. Then we can play some helper lines. We have a bunch of different proportion guides available here, also golden ratio. You can add smile curves, you can even add vertical lines, horizontal lines, etc. All you need, you can add as many lines as you need. Every technician has here a different approach to do that. Um, yeah, you see now he's adding two vertical lines now. And then we can go to the next step, which is in fact the smile design step. So all the steps so far were just preparation. Uh, and now we can do the smile design. You could even do that together with your patient. You see, it just takes a few minutes to do the preparation. And you could now already discuss the result with your patient. Or if he's not there anymore, you could send the picture uh, to the patient. Or you can even send it through the, through the web. There's an option which is called web view. Uh, you upload it to our server and you send a link to the patient, you can open the link in the web browser, there's no software required, no license required, and you can easily watch the result in 3D in his web browser. So that's the first outcome of the smile creator, it's just a visual outcome to check the result or to discuss the result between dentist and patient, or between lab and dentist, that's another option, of course. Yeah, now Marco is doing the tooth placement. What you see here actually is 
on the left side you have a 2D rendering of, a, of 3D models on the right side. So you have a combination of jaw scan and single uh, tooth libraries. And on the right side you see the same object in 3D from three different view angles that helps you to quicker do the two setup. And the coolest thing is you can work in both simultaneously. That means you can st start working in 3D if you are used to that from the normal restoration process in our software. And then you do the aesthetical setup or some aesthetical fine tuning on the left side in the 2D picture. You see, here we now we are now in the preview mode on the left side. That means you see already the real rendering uh, of the teeth. And you could now create the picture. You might say now that the color does not look very realistic of the teeth. That's no problem. This will be done in the next step. I guess Marco will show that quite soon. I don't want to stress him here. Let him just finish the placement. Yeah, I forgot maybe to say that there is a bunch of different tools libraries. So when you start the process here, you can first toggle between all the tools libraries to, to find a library which fits to the patient's morphology, of course. And then you have a freeform tools, you have a measurement tool. You can even mirror the movements. That means if you, for example, uh, are moving one canine, the canine on the other side will automatically be moved in the same direction as well. And now we are finalizing the aesthetic setup and we go now to the next step and we will then adjust the colors of our result. This is also quite important for you show it to, to the patient. It should look realistic, otherwise you would be maybe surprised about the result and would say, oh wow, now I'm looking like, like I don't know, uh, with like bleached teeth or whatever. <laughs> so here you have uh, standard presets. Of course, you can choose between all the Vita colors. Uh, but the coolest thing is, what I personally like is the color picker. You can pick now a base color of the teeth in one of the pictures. So usually for the base color you take one of the darker colors. And then with another color picker you can also choose a highlight color of the teeth. And then you can try to find uh, the right color. You can even change the brightness of the picture. You could even move the direct direction of the light in the software. That's also possible. Yeah, now we are done with the, with the Smile Creator and we are back in the main wizard of the restoration options in our software. We are here in the, in the freeforming step and that's in fact the step or let's say the tool of the software. When I found my passion for the software 10 years ago, it's such a powerful tool. You have a metal wax knife, you can easily grab tooth parts or entire tools and deform the entire tools, etc. and it's really cool. What you see here now is a color scaling which shows you the thickness of your structure. It helps you to avoid having two thin areas maybe. And yeah, now he's doing some fine tuning. He's trying to cover the entire teeth and to avoid having two thin areas. Yeah, uh, Marco is doing a, a good, yeah. For me it looks good. So Mar Marco is a quite experienced smile design user. Yeah, we can proceed to the next step. Here we do the insertion, so even such a little structure needs an insertion direction, of course. And we define an insertion, oh, let's say we try to avoid having too deep undercuts, especially on the cervical areas. Uh, yeah, and now the software is uh, doing the block out automatically, there are different parameters available, you can choose an offset or you can define a specified undercut depth, etc. Yeah, this is done. Now we are on the last step and we can add some connectors. Uh, these are required to make uh, a solid structure of the single elements. You could even export them as single teeth if you want, but here in this case it's easier to print a solid structure. Now the software is creating a virtual wax up, so you see that in green. That means all the elements, all the teeth and, and the uh, connectors will be merged into one watertight model. That's what we see here. So it's done and you can again freeform this entire a watertight structure. So now it's using the cut view tool just to check or analyze the result in detail. And that's now the last step. So we already did the, the adaptation to the jaw scan. We call that a hard cut. So that's an option which comes with the mock-up feature. This is available since we have the Gore release from end of uh, 2020, 
2020, yes. Uh, and that's now the final result, what you see here. Now we are going to the last step. Here you can now take a decision. Either you start now printing the structure, you could even continue and do the model. Uh, that's what we are not doing now. We go now back to the dental DB. Now we click on the integrated printer. That means just a button, just one click. And the exoprint will start. Then we can proceed to the printing. We'll, yeah, you see the case will appear here in exoprint. You click on the button, proceed to printing. Automatically, the um, printer software will be started. That's the software which comes together with the printer from the manu manufacturer. It has not been programmed by us, but it's working almost the same way. It has also a wizard which guides, guides you through the entire step, and it's really, really easy to use. I got my first introduction on Tuesday night here at the booth when we were preparing the booth, and on a Wednesday morning I did my first printing here. Yeah, so you learn that in 10 minutes. So the software does an automatic proposal of the orientation on the plate, as you can see now. And now we have just to add the support pins. They will be also placed automatically. Sometimes this might take a while, depending on the case. Okay, here it goes quite fast. So you see this will be done also automatically. Of course, you can also influence that operation. You could choose a bigger support pins or, or the numbers of support pins can be changed. Yeah, and that's in fact all. So now we go to the last step. Now the file has been sent to the printer. Yeah, what you see here is actually the slicing process. This will be now simulated by the software. So you can see that in real time on the screen. Then the software will prepare the file for the printer with exactly this information. And the printer will later exactly do what you see here on the screen. That's it. We sent the case to the printer. Now we have, yeah, there's the patient we had this morning. It's our charming colleague, Inka. This morning we didn't have a real patient, that's why we did it with a colleague here. And she's coming back to view her first result, maybe. Yeah, so Inka, why don't we, uh, we have Gustavo here who has your mock-up. Why don't we try it out and let's see what you look. Yeah, let's get you a mirror as well so we can maybe let's, see. Maybe let's come closer to the camera, maybe. Yeah, let's come closer. Uh, I also want you to look at yourself and let me know what you think. Oh, wow. Wow, so that's, that's great. That's a new Inca. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so how do you feel, Inca? That, that, that feels kind of weird, but, but it's nice. I'm so surprised. It's fitting very good. So I just snapped it in. It, it's right out of the printer, and, and it's fitting. And I can just show it around and try if I can do some smiles. Um, I like it. Yeah. I, I think you can even wear it out all day. I think it looks good. Yeah. So, so maybe I need something to glue it in. <laughs> <laughs> that would be perfect. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. thank you.